Now firstly, what is a repository or a repo as it's often shortened to? Well, it's basically a place where your code sits. Now for every project or website that you create, you'd go ahead and create a new repository. So to create a repository on GitHub, I can either head over to my repository tab and hit this new button, or I can choose create new from the top. The first thing that we'll do is choose a name for our project. In this case, we'll call it Hello World since we're only creating an example here. You want to name this something that directly relates to your project so it's easily recognizable by yourself and other people. The description is optional, however, particularly for public projects, a description is helpful to sum up what your project is in a couple of lines. So I'm just going to write a Hello World project. Next, we choose whether the repo should be public or private. Now, if it's public, anyone will be able to discover it. So make sure you're not storing sensitive information on this repo, like private keys or passwords. We'll be looking later at how to ignore certain files within your project so you can only see them when you're developing. And this basically means that even if you're using sensitive information within your project, you can still open source it and have it private, uh, public. Obviously, if it's private, no one is going to be able to see it. But on GitHub, you do have to pay for this option. Now, let's initialize this repository with a readme file. And we'll look more about project readmes at a later part in the series. Now, once we create uh, the repository, we're done. This is your repository, and you can start pushing files to it.